what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's Brie here and today I am cleaning my makeup vanity it's in desperate need of a good scrub-a-dub-dub -dub. and I don't know about you guys but over the past couple weeks since we've been quarantined I've been super motivated to just get my life organized and clean everything so if you're interested in cleaning and organizing with me then just keep on watching oh my goodness you guys so this is my little makeup vanity this is typically where i get ready for work in the morning but since i've been working from home the past couple weeks it's also been kind of doubling as a makeshift work desk uh, so i've got work stuff i've got my laptop on top i mean i've just got all kind of stuff underneath so it's my mission today to clean organize toss out some old things you see i've got packages underneath of like uh lashes and lipsticks that i'm trying out for a new makeup company i'm getting ready to start i've got dirty brushes and just new makeup old makeup that i just need to go through and organize uh this drawer complete shambles that's enough rambling let's just get into uh cleaning <laughs> So first things first, I'm going to just get an empty trash bag and start going through and looking through um, expiration dates for makeup, like stuff that's empty, stuff that's like expired, obviously I need to throw away. So I'm just going through one by one and keeping things or putting things to the side that I want to keep and tossing stuff that's expired or just old that I haven't used in a while and tossing it in the trash. Okay, you guys, so I know it looks a bit chaotic, but I just went through all of this stuff and I p picked out all old makeup, stuff that I have not touched literally in months. Um, and I dumped it all in my trash bag, but you guys, oh my gosh, don't judge how dusty this is. I'm actually gonna keep these. But look what I found behind these lipsticks. I don't know how, when, where, what how this happened but these are like my um vows from our wedding that i like wrote the night before because i was like panicking i don't know this is like my little rough draft of the vows that i spoke um at our wedding almost five years ago oh my goodness i don't know if i just like stuck them back there when we moved or whatever but that was so so definitely have to hang on to this but I thought that was funny um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this container and this container and wash them and then tackle my brushes next I already went through and tossed old brushes that I don't use anymore and then so I'll wash these and then wash my brushes Okay, so right here, you guys, I know it looks kind of weird, so I wanted to explain. I was just going in uh, and scrubbing like old glue and like old makeup that had gotten smudged in the corners of things. I was just giving it a really deep clean because I can't tell you the last time I actually did this. So yeah, I was just taking my time and scrubbing it down really well.
so now that those two makeup holders are clean I'm moving on to my face brushes and I just use a dab of Dawn soap and a glove and I just scrub them down until I don't I see clear suds and all the soap is away so this is a really simple way for me to clean my brushes and it doesn't take forever here I always try to uh, clean my brushes with the barrel facing down uh, so that way no water is seeping down into the barrel of the brush to break up like the glue where it's put together so just a helpful tip that I have found out through the years Now moving on to eyeshadow brushes, since these are smaller, uh, I typically try to do two at a time and they go a little bit faster than the face brushes, but using the same routine, uh, just a dab of Dawn soap, swirl, 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 uh, rinse and repeat this. Now since all my brushes are nice and clean, I'm just wiping down my little brush holders. This one's for my face brushes and the little cut back there is for my eyeshadow brushes. So while my brushes are drying, we're going to move back to the vanity. So since everything's cleared off the top, I dumped all the makeup that I'm keeping into this little clear container down here so I could keep it out of the way. And I'm going to wipe down the tabletop and clean the glass using my Clorox wipes and my Mr. Clean. Now that the glass top is all clean, I'm just wiping it down one more time with some Windex. Now I'm placing all my little containers that are clean back on my tabletop just so I can get a feel for what I'm working with. And I'm about to put this new mix that I just found on Apple Music. It's the Afrobeat. Uh, hits mix I've been really feeling it lately and I'm gonna go through this large basket of makeup and go piece by piece and wipe everything down Now that I wiped all my foundations down and organized my eye and lip pencils, I am wiping down my lipsticks and my display here. I'm just putting some of like my more collector item lipsticks in the front for display and then I'm turning all my MAC bullets that I use pretty often upside down just so I can find the color. And for my liquid lipsticks, I just went through each of them and pulled out more of my spring summer colors so I can access them a bit easier. And then I'm going to put all my more winter, fall, darker, deeper colors in my actual makeup storage. 
So moving on to brushes. So since this is just my makeup vanity, I'm typically only keeping brushes that I use most often. Anything that I use to travel with or on clients is in my makeup storage, which I separated all those brushes out before. So if you're interested in seeing a video on my makeup storage, then just leave me a comment down below. Okay, so feeling pretty good with our progress so far. Now I'm just getting ready to kind of place things on my tabletop how I like them. Uh, keep things kind of organized that way. I have my little concealer organizer and I'm just going to put that on the other end closer to my brushes. My main foundations uh, stuff right there and then my lipsticks over in the other corner. So there you have it you guys. I actually ended up keeping this little clear container uh, for my palettes. These are kind of my most reach for palettes. Again, if you'd like to see a full video of my makeup storage, I'd be more than happy to make that for you beauties. But these are just palettes that I typically use more often. So I just slid that little container underneath my vanity so it's out of the way but it's easy for me to grab. Next up, I have this cute little container. It actually came in a set of three from Home Goods, but it just holds my concealers that I typically reach for often. And then my two little cups for my brush holders and a little mirror back there. This main makeup holder, I kind of switched around a bit. It has like my small little uh, tools in the front, some kind of specialty eyeshadows that I like. And then all of the foundations, really most of my favorite foundations. If you can't tell, I'm definitely like a foundation junkie. I love uh, base products for makeup. But anywho, all that's nice and neat and wiped down and clean over here in this container. And then my other little makeup holder are all of just like my favorite lipsticks at the moment. Um, I have all my bullets out in the front and then my liquid lipsticks towards the back since I don't really grab for those as often as lipsticks. I don't know, I'm just a traditional lippy kind of girl, I guess, but everything's nice, neat, and organized. I also had this really cool picture like down on the floor for months, you guys. I got it from an art show a few months ago, so I thought to just hang it up since I'm going to be here for work anyway. Might as well have something to look at. And that is pretty much it, you guys. We've tackled the top portion and for the most part the bottom. Um, I feel really good about our progress so far. Now, if you would like to see me organize and clean this drawer area, then just comment down below and you just might see it in part two. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.